What's up guys, Iceman here bringing you some TDM on Slab, it's a little quick match commentary. We have a Valera bot on our team, so it's a 4v5 situation. In this commentary I wanted to cover a few points. Uh, there is a big XSplit update, in case you guys don't know what XSplit is, it is a program that allows you to live stream, it's a very good program. I paid like $120 to get like 3 years of uh, live streaming with XSplit, uh, it's a good license. And with this new update, you can actually delay your webcam. So as many of you may know, there's um, uh, delays for the majority of capture cards that are external. And what I mean by delay is not delay from your Xbox to your TV, but delay from your TV to your computer. So when you do something on your TV, you don't see it until like two or three seconds later on your computer. But the problem is, is your li your webcam is live. It that means when you move on your webcam, you see it on your computer move instantly. So in order to um, get it to basically match up with the three second delay of your capture card, is you have to delay your webcam. And this wasn't possible until this 1.2 update on XSplit. So I am uh, really happy that this update went through because now I can live stream with my webcam and. Uh, have my audio delay matched up with my webcam delay so everything is working nice and uh, good right now I will put a link to the live stream that I did today in the description I just did a little test live stream I didn't tweet out when exactly I was streaming or even link on Facebook but I you know I haven't shouted out my Facebook or Twitter in a while so I'm gonna start doing a lot more um, future streams now since I got this webcam sorted out so if, oh that was a nice throw um, but anyways guys, I'm gonna put my Facebook link and my Twitter in the description. Make sure you guys go, you know, if you don't have a Twitter, like my Facebook. You know, if you don't have a Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And I'm gonna tweet out from now on whenever I do a live stream. And I used to do an open lobby like once a week on Wednesday. And I'm gonna try and get that up and going again um, on Wednesdays. I'm not gonna be sure exactly as to when I'm gonna be able to start doing that, but I would like to start this coming up Wednesday. And it may vary, you know, I may uh, be at the gym or hanging out with my girlfriend on Wednesday. You know, something may happen, but I will at least try and live stream and do an open lobby maybe once a week. So really get you guys to interact with me, and uh, so, you know, a lot of you guys get a chance to play with me. I know a lot of you guys um, you know, I've always wanted to play with me, you know, always hoping like, you know, one day, you know, I hope I run into Iceman. Well, on these open lobbies, you guys will get a chance to do that. So make sure, and the way these open lobbies work, in case you guys don't know, is when I tweet out or post a link on my Facebook, I'm basically going to say, send my gamer tag a message saying invite me, and it's first come, first serve. So the majority of the time, my followers on Twitter and Facebook are the only ones that get to know when I'm doing an open lobby, unless I post a video on uh, YouTube, which I may do, but that kind of gets tedious. So to really ensure that you get that first spot is to check my Twitter and Facebook because sometimes it takes like 20 to 30 minutes for a YouTube video to hit your your sub box and Twitter and Facebook are instantaneous so your Twitter and Facebook followers are the ones that get basically the first dibs on joining my open lobbies and I get these messages really fast guys I'm you know I get the messages probably I could probably get a hundred uh, messages in my inbox within 30 minutes so if you're, you know, 30 minutes late, say, you know, your your YouTube, you don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook, and the YouTube video doesn't publish for 30 minutes, the you're more than likely not going to be able to play with me because it's kind of, you know, a bitch uh, doing an open lobby longer than an hour or two because it's just really repetitive. I gotta keep inviting people and um you know kicking people out of the lobby over and over again and sometimes i just like to relax and play with my friends you know so anyways now that i got that out of the way uh one thing that i would like to talk about other than you know the big live stream update is that i'm going to be a manager for this team truly that is up and coming uh they just created their team not too long ago and what i mean by manager i don't mean leader i'm not going to be recruiting players i'm not going to be kicking players i'm not going to be you know basically doing anything that a leader does all i'm going to be doing as a manager is putting them in the right direction and what i mean by that is is that i'm going to be helping them give them ideas you know uh, vintages, um, getting team Taj's out on time, 
you know, um, what they should be doing, you know, you know, really sticking to montages and episodes rather than commentaries at first. Because the way to start a team and be successful is to start off strong with montages and episodes. Because if you start off as a small team and no one really knows you and you have like 100 subscribers and all you're posting is commentaries, the majority of the time no one's going to want to listen to you because they you know you're you're just a bunch of random guys and they don't you know it's like oh a 20 minute commentary from some guy i've never heard before what is going to make you you know what is going to make the viewer sit through that 20 minute commentary and listen well you know maybe if that team truly came out with an amazing team taj with some sick clips and then they saw a 20 minute commentary they'd be like oh okay you know this team's sick you know i'll give them my time and i'll let them you know i'll, I'll listen to what they have to say so basically you have to make an impact on the community with great clips and great gameplay and show your shit basically to you know basically get the viewers attention attention and um that's just how it's always been and you know there are you know a very few commentators that have made it you know strictly on gameplay commentaries but it is really hard uh, to do that from an upcoming team as you can see I'm playing with truly desired and truly narcotics right now a couple guys in, in the team and you know this is kinda out of the blue you know I told them that I'd be the manager for for their team but I never told them I would do a video about it so I will put their team channel in the description and the leader uh, truly desired's channel in the description as well and you know I'm basically here to give this team motivation you know um, you know a small team starting from you know nothing it has no motivation you know they're like you know what do we do you know oh, wow we're not gonna succeed you know but me you know backing them up being like look guys I'm gonna help you out really you know gives them that optimistic attitude really puts them in the right direction really makes them say yeah I'm gonna go out there and get those clips you know Iceman's got our back you know chaos has got our back and uh, you know that's just what I want to do for the community is you know when I see a small team out there is I want to help them out and by helping a smaller team out is helping out the community in the long run because that's another channel out there that you know other viewers can go to you know when someone's not posting they can be like you know I'm gonna go check out true oh that was a nice move right there a very fluent when I meant by fluent shoddy you know I meant shit like that is just like I love doing shit like that man just hitting that cover and coming around so clean just doesn't even know what hit him but basically is you know it really uh, you know, it makes me happy that I can help out a smaller team. And I told them that I would just, you know, stick with their team until, you know, I see that they, you know, got on their feet. So any of you guys out there, you know, that, uh, you know, actually have HD capture cards, please no dazzles. Because you know as well as I do is that, you know, this is 2013, guys. And, you know, dazzles were okay back in 2008, maybe 2009. But, uh, you know, it's time to get with the times, and nobody really wants to see blurry gameplay anymore. You know, everybody's upgrading and getting the top shit now, and it's time for everybody to basically convert over to HD. So, please, no HD. Um, if you guys would like to join this team, send me a message to my YouTube or the team channel, which will be in the description. And, um, you know, just send them some of your clips. Um, you know, if you've got a couple minutes of clips that you've hit, send them the clips. Show them their shit. They also need editors and graphic designers as well. And, you know, I'm just really trying to basically help this team out. I will be in their team chat on Skype. So for you new recruits that would like to join this team, um, you know, I'll be communicating with you guys as well. So you'll get to basically get firsthand uh, bases and get to talk with me and uh, get to get to know who I am on a personal level and uh, you know I just think it's gonna be great for the community you know after I get team truly on on their feet and another team is up and coming you know I don't mind helping them out either you know um, I'm just gonna go team from team and just keep managing teams and hopefully get this um, community um, you know get a lot more teams in the community you know if you look at the COD community you know of course it's so much bigger than the gears community you can't even compare it um, you know to one another but you know they have so many teams there's so many cod teams and you know i would like to see uh you know gears judgment just be full of youtube recording teams you know just a whole bunch of people that are just putting content on youtube because that uh what that does is you know it, it gets the game out there more you know some people that may not like or may never have even seen gears of war might see one of these teams videos and it might you know push them 
to go get the game. And that's another, you know, player on the game that wasn't there before. And uh, by doing that, you know, we're getting the game, we're expanding the audience, we're expanding the viewership, and um, we're basically getting the game out there better and, you know, giving you guys more views. So that's my goal, guys. I'm just trying to expand the community and help out small teams. So I would really like to see Team Truly uh, be successful like all you other teams out there, you know, Mellow, Array, uh, Avenge, Essence, you know, all these other teams, you know, Fame, or, you know, all these guys. Um, anyways, this commentary is about wrapped up, but basically the point behind this commentary that I was trying to get across was is that I'm here to help out these smaller teams out there. I'm here to, you know, see the community grow, and at the end of the day, I just want to be able to say, you know, I did that, or, you know, at least I tried. But anyways, guys, I will be live streaming soon and hope to see you guys in the open lobby and i'm going out for my girlfriend's 21st birthday tonight so i'm gonna have a blast wish me luck and peace out